Rico. Reports say he may start cooperating with the feds too. Come on, man. From a rap standpoint, Chicago has been in the limelight for at least 10 years now. Popular Chicago rappers would either kill or be killed, creating shockwaves throughout the music industry and their fans. Lil Durk happens to be the biggest out of all of them now. He's been bringing it with his music. And also turning up the streets. The turning up turned into a court case that may have been the start of him being a part of a possible Rico case. Since Lil Durk moved to Atlanta, his music career has blossomed, but his street issues started to get closer to home. While outside of a restaurant called The Varsity, Lil Durk was allegedly involved in a shooting and robbery that landed him and King Vaughn in jail with no bail. I'm not going back to jail. He eventually got bond after spending about a month in jail, but the case still lingers. King Vaughn is no longer in the case since his death by Quando Rondo's best friend Lil Tim. And Dirk continues to get big. Now it looks like his past is catching up to his present to form into a big wad of indictments. Atlanta DA Fannie Willis has been spearheading all the Rico cases going on in Atlanta. She's been feeling really great about indicting Young Thug and his YSL crew. Do you feel good? And since their incarceration, she's promised more cases. Sources in Lil Durk's camp says he's next, and it's mainly because of his associations with Atlanta artists and residents under investigation. Dirk has relationships with Gunna, Young Thug, Lil Baby, and more. These artists are not only keeping Atlanta's wave going, but they're also a part of crews targeted by the feds. When it comes to Rico, anyone can get wrapped up in it if they're around long enough. It also strengthens when there are informants ready to make authorities' jobs easier. Some of Dirk's friends are allegedly ready to snitch if they haven't already. Shut your unnecessary after Dirk and India got into a shootout after someone tried breaking into their home, reports came out saying that Mimo 600 was pulled over, arrested, and booked. It's also said that Dirk called him to the house to bring guns. You can assume Mimo 600 is one of the friends that will snitch on Dirk and the rest of OTF, but it would be hard considering Mimo 600 made tweets insinuating that Dirk is a rat. Sources have also said that whatever comes out about Dirk is a lie and he's innocent. With those type of words, it feels like the indictment can come down on him in any minute. It's already past the 60 days mark Fannie Willis promised another indictment to be made. And although another Rico came down on another group called Drug Rich Gang, it wasn't a national public spectacle like YSL. A Rico case nabbing up multiple OTF members, including Lil Dirk, would certainly be huge. Dirk has since deactivated his Instagram account and told everyone that he'll be taking a break. A break from what? I don't know. But the move to deactivate his IG is believed to prevent authorities from using his followers, pics, and videos as evidence against him. You know, using his affiliation and other to implement him in any and everything. Will Dirk be able to delay his seemingly inevitable Rico case, like his initial attempted murder case with Vaughn? And what will happen? Will Dirk see his homies point the finger at him, or will he be finger pointing? Will Dirk see his homies point the finger at him, or will he be finger pointing? It's a wild time Dirk is having in his personal life right now. Let's see if he finds his way out unscathed.